Hi everyone. Welcome. It's Lonnie at Grace Blossoms for You. So I was watching Tina at Shabby Dabby Duda and she was making something called Crafty Cat Envelopes. Um, I guess pockets. But she was mass making and I had never made one before and I still haven't. But I needed a different pocket to put in my journal, the peace, perfect peace journal that I'm working on. And I thought, why not try that? So I'm going to try one. Crafty Cat. I'm not sure why it's called that, except it does take a little more than I usually do. Um, so basically what she did was she inserted one flap into the other envelope and then glued that down and then glued that down. Now I'm not too fond of the brand showing here but these are really nice and strong envelopes that I got from the thrift store, so I am going to use them. Um, yeah, so if you want to follow along and maybe make one, then by all means. So you need two envelopes and then paper to cover. And so what Tina did was... Well, she had one that was similar to this where she had the sticky part. And so what she actually did was she cut that off. I'm guessing these are rather old. So, well, I'm going to cut mine off because I'm not sure... How, um, how important this is in the long run. Because we're, we're going to be making pockets after all. And we don't want them to be glued shut. So I will do as Tina did. She's made a few more of these than I have. So. Alright, so then what I'm going to end up with hopefully, is one, well, it won't go very far in there because it's just, huh. I don't know, it's just. Barely, <laughs> but all right, it'll have to do. Okay, so we need glue on this piece here. This is always a fiddly part, and this is why I haven't made a lot of things with something inside something else because as soon as you put glue on it it doesn't want to move oh maybe I got enough glue in there that it actually helped s slide it all right cool that worked just sticking my scissors in there to see if there's any um, excess glue. It looks like it's all right. I seem to always be losing my glue spreader, so there's that. Okay. Doesn't look like there's any wet glue on there, so that should be all right. Then we just need to attach this side.
The idea was to get the envelopes pretty much the same. All right. Hopefully it's dry enough to continue. I decided to go with this um, pink and peach paper. It's really pretty. Um, excuse me while I just trim this. So then we do this in two parts and it shouldn't matter which side. So the way Tina measured it was to fold and then cut along the fold. Something like that. I'm just going to do both sides. I'll probably be able to trim it again later if needed. So I want the part with the most flowers, for sure. And for measuring this, I'm just gonna do it from this side so you're not watching my head there. And then same with this side. That looks like I have a little extra. That's all right, I'll cut it off later. I've got some more extra strips of paper that you can use for something else. Okay, so then what she did was um, glue this down. Now she put this to the inside like to the outside, sorry. So yeah, that's going to be the outside. And we'll have to make sure we can still fold them. I think I got them too close together. So that's going to be a little bulky. Yes, I would have wanted to fold it like so. Well, if this one doesn't completely work out, I can always put it in my ideas journal because I'm keeping that one. Yeah, it's not really, I did not do a stellar job here. I should have left just a little more room when I was. So what can I do with this? Anything? It would only be noticeable on the inside. Let's see. If I ruin it this way. I have excess in the middle here, so I just 
wanting to get rid of the bulk. So what I'm gonna do on the inside eventually is probably gonna put some journal paper. So that should be all right. I might just have to add a little more journal paper than I was intending to. But yeah, that's right down the middle. Maybe I can I'll look at that. Okay, I might just have to flatten that to one side. All right, let's get on with it. So I'm gonna glue this down and we're just gonna be careful not to get any glue on the inside of the original envelopes. I'm gonna just put a line of glue on the pretty paper and then do the same on this side or on the envelope, except we're gonna go around that opening like so. Then we're going to put this down. Yeah, so if you like the stuff that I'm making that I say Tina has made, go over and see if you like her videos. And then if you do like them, give her a thumbs up because uh, she teaches a lot of people how to make things. And she makes it look so easy. So. Okay, so then the back, I guess this will be the back. This will be the front, or this will be the front and this will be the back. Oh boy, it's Tuesday when I'm filming this, so I don't know, feeling a little discombobulated. Maybe it's just because I don't usually, um, I don't know, Tina does really simple things, but to my brain, not everything that she does is simple. So, all right, that's the outside. And putting that down. And spreading the glue. Okay, so then I'm going to do the trimming. We're going to cut the pockets. It's going to be on this side, so we're going to have to, we're going to trim the pocket or cut the pocket open and trim that paper at the same time. So just barely like so. And then you can see the pocket inside. And I can see the brand name still at the bottom, but oh well, it is what it is. I'm not gonna worry about that. All right, so then we're going to open this side up as well. Yeah, I like these, but I'm not sure that I would be needing a whole bunch of them, so I probably won't be doing a mass make of these myself. Okay, so the problem I'm finding is 
maybe I didn't put enough glue here. Just gonna outline that so that I can maybe squish it in there. Try not to get a paper cut. Then I'm just gonna flatten that down. We're gonna ink that later anyways, so. But yeah, I think I could have saved myself some frustration if I hadn't put the envelopes quite so close together. Okay, now oh, that's better. It's all one piece now. And that's good. All right. So we have two pockets. And I don't know, maybe I'm too fussy, but this still needs to it needs to look like it's all attached and okay, I'll worry about that later. So now that is pretty. It looks just like a card. All right, so then the inside. I know what I could do. Just like put a spine in there. And that would just hide that part. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that. I'll use that side. That will strengthen the envelope pocket as well. doing today? Are you encouraged? Are you looking up? I'm looking up every day. I was thinking I might want to do a, a rapture journal, but while there are some verses in the Bible that talk about the rapture, there's you know, there might be enough for a, an insert in a journal, maybe not a whole journal. So, oh, maybe I should have inked that first. Oh, well, I didn't. Okay, so then, <clears throat> excuse me, just need to make sure that folds. All right, so then I'm going to want some paper on the inside. Okay, I have some. So let's see. So that's almost nine inches across. If I do eight and a half. thing here. So 
about there. You know, it looks straight. Okay, and then how high? One, two, three, four, five, six. Six and a quarter, maybe. Okay. I thought of this paper because it's pretty much the same color as the cover on the outside. So... I'm not even sure how many I grabbed. Maybe four. Yeah, one, two, three, four. So there's four pages times two, so that'll give eight. And how am I gonna attach that? I guess sewing it would be the easiest. So it then becomes like a mini journal inside a bigger journal. Okay. All right, let's see. I thought this would be, you know, a fairly involved project but it's getting longer <laughs> all right so then yeah i know i'm gonna need my pokey tool and i dropped it on the floor okay i'm back and i've got my pokey tool my awl and I wasn't intending to make a big to-do about this, but it is what you make it, I guess. All right, so I'm just making a two-hole pamphlet stitch because it's fairly small. It's a fairly small journal. I could have doubled it up, I guess. Yeah, it's fine. Not a huge deal. I'll just make a bow. I think I want a little something in there. Let's see. It's a mini journal. For, and it's got roses on the front. So maybe I have a flower. That's cute. There are a ton of charms in here I'll probably never use. I like a bow. Yeah, let's use that because we're going to put it in the bow. need the bow to be so big. Just secure. I'll tie a knot in there yet. There we go. And then let's make those a little smaller. 
there. Yeah, I don't see how I would, or that I would want to mass make these, but that's okay. We don't have to do everything everybody else does, only if we want to. <laughs> okay, I'll close that before I spill them all. So now you see half of that on each side. I almost feel like I need to cover that whole section now. I'm just trying to think of what I could do there because it looks like it needs something, but it's going to show through most things. Oh well, at least you get to see how not to do some stuff. I almost want to put like something darker there so that it will stand out more. But, and I do think I want to put like a tab in here. That way it's easier to get into that pocket. This is a two inch punch. I don't want to put it in very deep, just, just enough so you can see it's there. Okay, so there is a Well, two envelopes made into a double pocket with writing paper on the inside. Um, I still feel like I want to do something in here, but I don't know what. If I put other flower paper in there, I don't know, I'd, I feel like it would um, fight with the outside of it. Should have done this first. But I didn't. But here's what I'm going to do. I am just going to glue these together at the bottom. So then I'm going to just roughly measure that is about two inches. Okay. Two inches from there to there. Then one and a half maybe, and then two. So let's see. Doesn't have to be too precise. I just need it to go in through those opening spaces there. So we'll do two from this side. And then Two from this side, and that's giving me too much in the bundle. Okay, so we're going to move in a quarter of an inch. Yeah, this is why I don't measure stuff, because, yeah. Um, 
fine. I want it straight, I guess. So let me know if this helps or if you're getting this big, ooh, let's not do that. Because <laughs> I'm trying to stick with something until I find a solution. And I'm sorry if that is um, taking a long time. At least I know how to edit a video so you won't probably see all of my struggling. Just the solution, hopefully. All right. So then I'm going to take this, put this together. I'm going to put my thingy back on it. So that I can very gingerly come in here, slip that in there. This might be the harder one. Look at that, it's going in. Okay, and then the last one. Something like that. Okay, I'm just gonna glue it down. Yeah, I could have used a white doily, I guess, but. I'm hoping this will look not too bad. Different. I just would have scrapped the first project that didn't work. So sometimes it's good to just follow through and see what happens. I think sometimes things work out better when you stick with it. I'm not saying this is one of those times, but you can still salvage things sometimes. Okay, so it's not perfect. But hey, you still got an extra little journaling space and it has pockets. So I am going to Go ahead and use this in here because why not? It's functioning. Oh, I know, I wanted to ink it. Inking fixes everything, right? Okay, maybe not everything. But many times, it's exactly what the situation needed. There. I do like it now. <laughs> Funny how that works. All right. So then I'm going to stick this in here somewhere. Maybe at the very front because... Why not? It needs, it needs something. So let's see what kind of paper clip things I have left here. I think this one would work. It's sticking out there a little bit. And the sticker is peeling. Sometimes we need to put 
put glue on stickers. Yeah, that one's just not even sticking really. Okay, let's do this properly. Well, well, at least I know I could have changed it up with something entirely different if I wanted to. All right, so I apologize if this video sucks. I'm trying to film ahead a little bit because school starts soon and my husband's schedule has changed again, so. Well, at least I ended up with something unique today. That's always nice, right? All right, so that should stick better now. And I think this needs inking as well. So yeah, this is a hidden paper clip. And it has a tab. Okay. this back in, put this in the front, maybe we'll put it right there, and there, like so, it's getting chunky. Oh, it's already been chunky, so I'm going to finish that up very soon. Um, I do still have some empty pages, but I pulled out a bunch of things yesterday that I'm going to add in there. So, Alright, let's finish with the verse. Let's not waste today. I'm going to grab some of the bigger ones I have here because we've got some really big pockets. So I'm gonna add that one, because it's pretty and it's kind of large. And I'm gonna add this one, because it's large. And I'm gonna do that one, because it's large too. I think all the other ones are smaller. Oh, nope, gotta do that one too. Let's see how many. Okay, I'll save this one for next time. Okay, so this particular journal card is from Victoria Designs. It's one of her freebies. I love it. I love the typewriter and the flowers. Okay, so the verse. Now the God of peace, who brought up from the dead the great shepherd of the sheep through the blood of the eternal covenant, even Jesus our Lord, Equip you in every good thing to do his will, working in us that which is pleasing in his sight, through Jesus Christ, to whom be the glory forever and ever. Amen. And that is found in Hebrews 13, verses 20 and 21. So that will have room right here. Oh, it better have room. Okay, yeah, he has room. Wonderful. I guess I should maybe take that out until I finish filling the pockets. There we go. Okay. For he himself is our peace, who made both groups into one and broke down the barrier of the dividing wall by abolishing in his flesh the enmity which is in the law, sorry, which is the law of commandments contained in ordinances, so that in himself he might make the two into one new man, thus establishing peace, 
and might reconcile them both into one body to God through the cross by having put to death the enmity. And he came and preached peace to you who were far away and peace to those who were near. For through him we both have our access in one spirit to the Father. And that's in Ephesians 2, verses 14 through 18. There we go. Okay, one more. This is fabric that I used acrylic paint on to make a picture, and then I sewed it to some book page. But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control. Against such things there is no law. Galatians 5, verse 22 and 23. So... And, of course, if you use bigger envelopes, you would get bigger pockets. And I think this verse is a little bit bulky. But, hey, it still fits perfectly. Like they were made, like it was made for journal cards. How about that? All right. All's well that ends well. Yeah, that one's sticking out there a little bit now. And so I'm just gonna trim it. There we go. All right, so that's what I have for today. And thanks for sticking with me and sticking it out. Good thing we're sticking because we got a lot of glue. Anyways. Thanks for tuning in, and um, we'll see you again next time. God bless. Bye-bye.